John Fogarty did this amazing uh, uh, concert with uh, well, we, what we did is got the Oakland Stadium where the Oakland A's play and we put together this huge benefit against AIDS back when AIDS was really you know ooh AIDS you know people were it just said the word and you thought your wiener was going to fall off <laughs> and, and uh, uh, John Fogarty did a full set with what he said was the best backup plan band he ever had, and it was the Grateful Dead. If you can imagine <laughs> John Fogarty and the Grateful Dead to to fight uh, AIDS, it was quite extraordinary. Oh, what amazing, what amazing! But the truth of the matter is, I was only 14 when Woodstock happened, and I wasn't there, mm. so it was a little bit before my time. But I wanted to bring somebody out who was in college during that time. It was kind of a heart in the heart of the matter. Can really testify to the full impact that it's had on his life, both both past, present, and future. What's going on? Okay. And I want you all to, to to give a warm welcome to 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 a really dear friend of mine. You know him as Principal Belding from Saved by the Bell. Really? Please welcome Dennis Haskins. Oh yeah. Am I hot? How are you, Wade? It's such an honor to meet you, sir. Thank you. Nice likewise. to meet all of you. Del, you guys are doing a great job. You guys are awesome. I, I got... Hot, woo! <laughs> Listen, I got to tell you guys, uh, before I was Mr. Belding on Saved by the Bell, before I was on a show that went to 87 countries around the world, I was you. I was 19 years old in 1969. I was a freshman in school, and the impact that this concert, the Woodstock concert that you and all these wonderful artists were part of, impacted me and everyone in my generation around the world. It was the Vietnam era. It was a time when transitions were happening that nobody could control. It was social and cultural revolution. It was true, wasn't it? it? I mean, it was truly revolutionary. You got that right. And, and it was something that scared people that weren't that couldn't tie into it but what happened at Woodstock set things in motion in a way that inspired people like me to think for myself and what we want to share with you guys is we want you to think for yourselves we want you to know that each and every one of you are important and the fact that each and every one of you are different is a great thing Back in the day, that was frowned upon. People were structured, they didn't, but we were able to stand up and find a voice. And if someone wasn't strong enough to find a voice, we supported them also. So this whole movement, this concert, that Rolling Stone Magazine called the most important musical event ever, created an energy and sent it out that we want to share with you. We want you guys, we can't take you there. We can't put you, but you can go see tomorrow Wavy's movie. You can get a feeling for the music. The music from all these great artists set so many things in motion and spoke for so many of us that I never thought. I was a basketball player. My dream was to be an actor. And you know what I did in 1970? I changed my major from being a basketball player to being an actor. And I thought, maybe it is possible. How many of you have a dream? Here's, and there you go. Yeah. <laughs> what we want you to do is try it. Whatever your dream is, if you don't try it, you'll never know. And I just want to be here and support this wonderful energy, this wonderful, uh, I can't tell you how cool this is because this is my generation and it takes me back so many years and what started in motion things for me, we want you to continue them in motion and to catch fire with what we love and take it with you and give it to other people and, and be yourselves, okay? So I just want to come out and say thank you and thank all of you for being here and, and, and just dig on all this because it's really cool. <laughs> Guys, hey. Thank you, Dennis. Dennis Haskins. Really thank fun. you for, thank you. I, when I was uh, when I was a stand-up tongue dancer, I opened for this uh, uh, piano player named Theolonius Monk, who said to me, he said, "You know, everyone is a genius just being themselves." Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, you also opened for John Coltrane too. 
Yes. So this man, I'm telling you, this guy, this guy is is the is the heart and soul of, of, of all this that, that that we're talking about. But but we don't want to take you back to the '60s. We're making a little visit here. Well, we don't want to carry you back to the '60s because there is great work that needs to be done here and now. What we're trying to do is give you examples of what was done in the past to make social changes, relevant changes in our society and in our world to move us forward. But what we want to do tonight is to inspire you to embrace this concept, to become engaged and look at the ch how you can make changes. We've got a whole series of, of folks that, that will be, we're going to have a forum as soon as the, this partnership portion of the show is over to talk to you about how you can, you can affect change within your own community. We have suggestions and ideas and folks that can help you to to combine this fun with the socially relevant change that is important and needs to be needs to be brought forward. What we want you to do is embrace the concept of using the fun on your campus, the student activities, to do some good. Is that too much to ask? To take so, some fun and do something good out of it? Yeah, have fun while you do it. That's key. Yeah. That is so key. That's that's a beautiful thing. I've done benefit concerts throughout my entire career, benefit programs. I've I've used um, my um, silver tongue devil on occasion to uh, to talk my way into some situations. Um, in my hometown, I actually was able to talk Garrison Keeler. If you know Garrison Keeler, the host of Prairie Home Companions. Yeah, I talked Garrison Keeler into coming to Tallahassee to MC a program that we produced of local musicians. Uh, we called it a Tallahome Compassion ah! because it was in Tallahassee, Florida, and it was to benefit Habitat for Humanity. Now, at that point, there was a very small organization for Habitat and Humanity in my hometown. But by producing this show, we raised $35,000 in one night. The seed money that then kicked Habitat into high gear. Mm. You can do this sort of thing. You can do this sort of thing. And we had so much fun doing it. That's the point we want to make. You can have fun, and you can have a dramatic impact in the world. And that's what we're all about tonight. And the fact of the matter is, we're all on this, we're all on this ship together. Right, Wavy? Exactly. Yeah, we're all we're all we're, we're all friends, whether we know spaceship each other or not. Spaceship Earth, yeah. Yeah, spaceship Earth. Um, I have a very convoluted life. Some of you, some of you know me. Some of you don't don't know me. Maybe we just met here at the conference. Um, I do a lot of different things in my life. I've had an entire career as a singer, songwriter, as a performing artist. I'm also a leadership development speaker and motivational speaker and, and trainer. So sometimes you'll hear me say things. You know, you'll kind of look at me like, huh? Yeah, where did that come from? But. The reason I, I mention that is because I wanted to just say that yesterday afternoon, this will show you the kind of impact you can have. Yesterday afternoon, I did a concert in Panacea, Florida, an outdoor concert in a little town called Panacea, Florida, to bring folks down. This is a town on the Gulf Coast. You remember what happened back in April? The terrible BP oil gusher that has damaged the economy so severely on the Gulf Coast. And we planned and put together this big event in the little town of Panacea, Florida, to give these folks a shot in the arm because although they never had any oil come through there, everybody thought they were damaged by oil. So all the businesses along the coast had suffered dramatically. So we've done numerous concerts to try to generate some the economy there and to help these folks out. People I don't know, but they're still my brothers and they're still my friends. And it's still important to me that I go and, and make do what I can and make a contribution to help these folks in this rough time. And I know that's how you've lived your life, Wavy. Well, sure. I mean, <laughs> what else are you going to do? Well, Wavy's a very modest man, but he's made such a dramatic impact. He's inspired so many of us through the years and, and really shown us the way to be more giving, to care about others, whether we know them or not, to really reach out and try to go beyond what, what, what we think we can do. Because whatever you think you can do, you can actually do a little bit more. You can always do a little bit more than you think you can. And that's one of the reasons we wanted to bring people here tonight. Yeah, there was this uh, uh, Zen Buddhist uh, Abbey said, you know, yes, everything is perfect, but it can always be a little more perfect. <laughs> uh, it was during Vietnam, and uh, I was in this dentist office. There had been a, a, an amazing amount of uh, caskets uh, being rolled out, and I said, I'm done. I, the only flag I want to suit from now on is a rainbow. And this dentist heard me say it, and my God, I was coming by to pick up my regular teeth that he had made, and uh, I was in a body cast uh, from my nipples to my knees. We had painted it blue 
with stars on it. It was my all-star cast. <laughs> and this dentist just got on the bus and stuck a rainbow in my mouth. <laughs> and uh, that was the first one. I'm going through three. This is number three. The original one is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Back to Janice, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, when Janice passed, we were in Amsterdam. And we put out this flyer. Uh, everybody that fell close to Janice, they could maybe gather with us on the Burger Dyke, which was a, an area in Amsterdam. And we had this tie-dyed teepee set up. And I sent Fred the Fed out to get the Dutch counterpart to Southern Comfort. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> these guys showed up with these perfect Anamita Muscaria for corks. And we all sat around and ate the corks and then started passing around the Southern Comfort and telling Janice stories until finally there was just one swallow left. And without saying anything, everybody held the last swallow in their mouth and simultaneously spat it in the fire. And there was this blaze of light. And I swear to God, I heard this cackle come through the smoke cloud. It was Janice saying goodbye. Yeah, wow. She, at Woodstock, she said, if you got any food left, Share it with your brother and sister, and that's the person on your left and the person, person on your right. Whew. What a teaching that was. Truer words in every spell. We were great good friends. And I want to tell you something. Janice Joplin was not a junkie. She messed around. She played with it, and it killed her. And the, I want to tell everybody, stay away from those white powders. Uh, cocaine is nature's way of telling people to spend money and be mean to their kids. Don't do that. It's bad stuff. That is bad stuff. Good, good message. Good message. Well, lady, it's been a real pleasure. It's been a real joy just to sit and chat with you. Yeah. But we're not done yet because I want to bring out the man that makes this whole thing possible. You know this guy. We love this guy. This guy. He uh, he's the the the. He's the, the big poobah of the APCA, the grand poobah. Please welcome our dear friend, Mr. Eric Lambert. Bring up the stage. All right, stuff's going to be going on behind me. Apka, baby. Apka, baby. Apka, baby. All right, folks, why are we doing all this? Why have we brought this amazing icon of the 60s up here and all through? I mean, he's been an icon ever since he's been around, uh, not just the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. Uh, the man's back was broken in protest before. Am I telling the truth there, Wavy? The man's had amazing, amazing things happen. I want you all just to do me a favor. Close your eyes, everyone in the room, just for a second and look down. And imagine that that's the way you're living. Your eyes are closed and you feel like a sharp thump at the back of your head. You don't know what it is because you're blind. You're in a third world country. You couldn't see anything. Raise your hand when it starts to freak you out and you wonder if that thing in the back of your head that hit you, maybe it was something that fell on you. Maybe it was somebody that's in the house. You don't know. You're in a third world country. You think you live in a hut, but you haven't seen it. Raise your hand if it freaks you out because you're going to be this way the rest of your life. Raise your hand just for a sec. Keep it up. Raise it up high. Everybody stop. Keep your hands up. Open your eyes and look around. Okay? That's how many people it freaks out. It freaks out everybody. And over a million people in third world countries could not see until this man and some of the people with him formed the Save a Foundation. And they had cataract surgeries for over a million people in third world countries that can now see because of this guy and what he did. And because of a lot of good rock and roll. And that's absolutely right. You know, We used rock and roll to raise the money. but. Exactly. Yes, I mean, a but, million but kind of committed surgeries. people can change the world. They change the world for over a million. How many? What are you close to two million now? We're we're pushing toward two million. Eighty percent of the people in the world that are blind don't need to be blind and can get their sight back in a fifteen-minute operation that costs about thirty bucks. Isn't that amazing? That's and, the world you live in. Those are the opportunities for change you have. 
It doesn't take a lot of change, a lot of money, a lot of time. It change, takes people who are committed to change, and you're in the perfect situation because you have campus activities funding and you have the ability to put on programs. You can change things. You really can. You can change the world. That's why we brought you here. We brought Wavy and everyone here because we want you to partner with some of these causes. They're going to be on the back row back here in a second. You're going to meet yes. some of the causes that you can easily partner with in your campus activities.